Uh, joining us is Laurie Maines, um, who, as I said, last time New Zealand played South Africa in a World Cup final, and you'd think it would happen more often because they've been the two dominant teams really for the last 30 years, haven't they? The Box and the All Blacks. Um, was Laurie Maines, and he joins us now. Laurie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I'm so glad you've given up your time. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem, Michael. How are you? I'm very well. Um, as I said, uh, you'll be casting your mind back to 1995. Uh, it, you had a wonderful team. Um, you had a... It was a pretty... that, that first, A bit hairy the first couple of years, and then you ended up with that wonderful team playing wonderful rugby in South Africa. Uh, in, in a fantastic World Cup, in actual fact, uh, historical. Made a movie of it, for God's sake. Um, how do you see this one panning out? Oh, look, it's going to be a war of attrition. Um, the, the All Blacks have certainly got form on their side. They, they've suddenly woken up during this World Cup and played some good rugby, and they had that sterling effort against uh, Ireland, which, you know, sure, could have gone either way, but that's what World Cup playoffs are, are about um, I think if we hold our own up front and get us get the backs good quality ball I believe that's where we have the edge Yeah I, I agree with you but that's a big if actually. Laurie um, they, this box beat us, they thrashed us at Twickenham, five tries to one I think it was um, in the lead up to this do you think <coughs> that they take some form of confidence from that result? Oh, they would take confidence, but look, Russi Rasmus, their overall coach, uh, he he was my skipper uh, when when I coached in South Africa, and he's a very very astute individual, and uh, he does understand how the game of rugby works, and how to get the best out of the players that you've got. Um, they will make it tough. It'll be confrontational up front. And they will do everything they can to uh, slow down all black ball. And I'm not necessarily talking about illegally, but just with the pressure they put on and, um, and try and get the, the all black forward on the back foot. If they do that, they're going to be incredibly hard to beat. But if the all blacks match fire with fire um, and have the right game plan as to how they get their go forward, then I think, you know, they should win. The All Blacks should come away with a win. But it's going to be tough. We're all a bit surprised to see the All Blacks there, Laurie, um, given our form leading into this tournament and then particularly after the first game against France. I mean, I don't think we thought we'd ever get there, but we have. How much do you attribute to that to the draw and really in which they've only had to play one team and that's Ireland? Um... Whereas the Springboks seem to have had the harder part of the draw with more difficult games. Do you think that's right or wrong? Uh, what you've said is correct, but that's the way it fell. Uh, but I'm personally critical of the way the draw was done or when the draw was done uh, four years ago. That's never, ever going to be a reflection on the strength of teams, you know, four years later going into a World Cup. Yeah. Uh, I, I think the IRB are just... It, it's like a lot of things with the IRB. They've just got to wake up. And to be honest, the, the two games that were the quarterfinals should have been the semifinals. Mm, mm. And, and we would have seen some, you know, absolute two weeks of absolutely fabulous rugby. Um, the draw should be done six months out yeah. when the teams, you know, the, the teams get ranked and then the draw is done. To have what we've had, the two, two of the best teams... Ireland and France out in the corner finals is is just crazy, and and I think that supports everyone's argument that they've got to wake up and do the draw according to the times. As you know, you know that you know the Africana mentality. You know South African well as well, uh, having coached over there, uh, played and and also you know taken teams there too. This um, last, or the list latest issue with Ben O'Keefe and the racial slur of the um, Springbok hooker uh, in Bonambi, um, is that going to have any effect, do you think, on the lead-up to? Is it a possibility, do you think, that World Rugby could intervene and suspend him prior to the game? 
Well, I can't comment on that because I don't know what he said or just how bad it was, but, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, is it sour grapes from England? Because at that level, well, at all levels, rugby players are at each other making sarcastic, humorous, nasty remarks to each other in an attempt to defocus and people unsettled. on the job they should yeah. be doing. Yeah. And, and it, it, look, it goes on. And, and I'll, I can tell you now, knowing England, I'll guarantee that he was either baited uh, or there was a fair bit going both ways, mm. that it wouldn't be one way. I think it would be, oh, be, be silly if, uh, if the IRB stepped in and, and denied someone the opportunity and denied a team of their player uh, because of a slur that was, was made during a previous game. And as you say, uh, taken out, of, taken out of context as well. It probably was. Yeah. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah. And uh, that's sour grapes from England. And, you know, I've witnessed that in the past as well. Um, uh, but, yeah, I, I look, I, I'd be very surprised if he does get banned. All right. Um, now, the other thing is you watched um, the All Blacks. As I said, they've overperformed against our expectations, I think, as a nation to get to the final. Has there been any change, do you think, in the way in which Ian Foster has coached the All Blacks or it's just that things have gone their way? They've, um, they've, they've been quite good with the injuries. Uh, they've, as I said, they only played two good teams. That's France and Ireland. Uh, lost to France badly, um, but just beat Ireland. Could have gone either way, that one. But they're in the final. Is that a coaching feat, do you think? Or do you think that's just the vagaries of the draw and of individual games? I, look, I think a bit of both. Um, the, the, uh, ever since the coaching changes were made and uh, Jason Ryan and Joe Smith came in, yeah. we've seen from game to game incremental improvements and then there might have been a slip back, such as that game against South Africa before the World Cup. But you, we could always see the formation of some very good uh, game plans and tactics coming from the All Blacks. And what has actually happened, they had those two or three easy, easier games in their pool matches, and they've managed to get all of that working as in, in the game plan. And that has given the players confidence, the coaches confidence, because believe me, coaches need to have the confidence as well. So they've all gathered the momentum, and one would have to say the momentum is on the side of the All Blacks. Now, so was it in 1995, and, and you know we, we, we were affected <coughs> off the field, so couldn't quite do it on the field. But... Uh, this All Black team, I think, is in a similar position in terms of the state of their game as to what we were in 95. And the style of rugby, they, they look like they might be just a step ahead uh, in their ability to score points. Although South Africa, um, you know, have, have looked, especially against France, they've looked particularly good. Um, at times in their backs as well. So, look, it's going to be a battle in one sense of two styles, but with two back lines that are prepared to move the ball. Uh, there'll be a lot more kicking from South Africa, uh, and we certainly have the back three to handle that. I'm not going to be worrying about South Africa's kicking at all. We, The All Blacks are certainly good enough to handle that. Well, that's something that the English almost won the game on, was their kicking. Uh, it was a hell of a night, and everybody gets up for one game, and the English did for that game. The back three, they're very talented attackers. They're not so talented defenders and high ball uh, defenders, are they, Laurie? Or what do you think? Oh, I agree with you. If they've got a bit of time, they're fine. But if, if, if there's other bodies around, a good big man's always going to beat a good small man. And that's what we saw with England. They were just simply getting up above the South African three quarters to get after the ball. And, uh, and, and they certainly had that advantage. And I'm sure the All Blacks 
uh, will have seen that, and those wingers can expect similar tactics, I would believe, going into this game.